Hi guys, how's it? In the name of Jesus, it is me. It's Karabo. I'm kinda hoping that's clear. If it's not obvious, then I don't know. Let me put some caveats out there. I'm wearing application makeup, hello. So if it bounces off my face, whatever, sh whatever. Uh, my captions are not 100% accurate because it is what it is. Please just ignore them if you can hear. If you can't hear, please use the YouTube captions so that you can hear. Thirdly, my sound silence thing editor to remove silences i need it but it's not perfect it's not like my past one so it sometimes takes out some of my words and i don't know what's going on there and it's annoying and then fourthly I i'm doing edits i'm uploading content here so i will also be looking at my screen quite a bit up there so don't be distracted it is saturday the seventh it's saturday you know this issue with my silence detection is just problematic. It's Saturday. It is Saturday, the 7th of, of October, and I am lamp-basted by demonic attack. I suspect you might have been able to see that in my Friday workout, where I was just barely doing anything. And um, it's like, okay, do you? Sorry guys, I want to turn on a light at the back there. I realized that when that light is on, life is a bit better. Quality of my device is lackluster. There will also be speech lags every so often because, you know, life. Did anything improve? Did you make any observations of an improvement? If not, I, guys, I try. I try. No, 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 what's going on? Yes, this mouse. Everything I buy is cheap. Everything. And so every so often it just pulls stunts on me. And I have a mouse that I have to like shriek sometimes. Just to make it. I said, I'm going to I don't have time for this. I have an Apple mouse that requires batteries. And I was like, yes, then. I want something that is wireless. Wireful. One minute while I deal with this, I can't when it's not working. Okay. Here's my Apple mouse. And uh, this Apple mouse. Oh, never mind. It needs batteries and young Bora because of that. Every so often they run out. Plus, it's heavy. For it, it's really heavy. Like, why is it so heavy? What's up with that apple? Light-hearted, robust design. Hello. Yeah, Bora. And because of it falling a lot on the floor, because of it being old, given that it belongs to an old Mac, it doesn't do what it's supposed to do, like properly. So I'm just like, as in, ugh. Uh, that's how I feel, you guys. Uh -huh. Everything in my life is just like, uh. Anyway, yeah, you know what, guys? Shem, I feel sorry for you. You know, people, when they run after the occult, you all know my ministry is dedicated to talking about these witches. They're trying to find a uh, quick happiness, quick, quick fixes. Jaha, 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 jaha. Hey, salaba jahil, and she's like, hey, running hastily. Like the Mad Hat, I don't know what you're late for But they're always like, I'm late, I'm late for a very important date No time to say hello, goodbye, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late As I hate my background, I hate this place, here's my OMP MP, kiss gobble, but I try to mask it with like, you know A background, so whatever background I have, I hope it does the job Anyway, yeah Salaba chakile D1 they're always in such a rush, like what? You know? I'm late, I'm late for a very important date. No time to say hello, goodbye. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. That's witches for you. Salama late for what? I don't know. So, because my jahile, just quickly get into marriages, eh? Quickly get into contracts. Quickly just go and drink that blood. Do you, girl? Do you, boy? Do you, sister? I'm full of color because every time I sing, I can't stand the sound of my own voice. So let's not let's not sing. Let's not pull I'm a pupo, I'm, I'm tired of my dreams. <laughs> Looks like sister gonna be dreaming for a minute, eh? Till the end of time. I'm gonna be seeing you until the end of time. It's going to be sorcery to the end of time. Don't know what I did to get this till the end of time. Coom, 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 coom. Even Beyonce doesn't get it, except my own target. Okay, guys, I'm editing content. I'm petting a god papa. Like, my hair is due for uh, an upgrade. Not an upgrade. I don't upgrade nothing. What I really intend to say when I say upgrade 
is you guys uh again Timona like you know and then redo it so that it can just grow because like I'm just growing my hair. It's for C hair afro I'm just growing it so I need to repeat the same hairstyle so I look but energy where my energy at <laughs> where my energy at I don't have no energy for that so in Australia with tonight I'm going to wash my hair then it's gonna get dry overnight and during the day tomorrow then go sun I'm all up in that grill because I wash my hair in plaits I never ever like manipulate my hair in jalo. I never wash my hair in pumil and jalo. and it's time for me to basically see what my hair is looking like after I don't know how long this hairstyle has been on too busy to even concentrate on it but I'm kind of hoping it's growing beautifully yeah but like now since the girl be itchy but that's because I haven't washed it in a minute it has nothing to do with bringing it down so that also needs to happen I wash my hair while it is in plants so yeah, anyway whatever boring hair story it's much easier to talk about my hair than to talk about the things that is born I in my dreams it is easier to not only talk about them but to gauge that people are trapped because you always out here <laughs> Hey, in a rush. Hey, guys, oh, there's only one life, eh? Take it easy. Take it easy. Yo, you only get one life. Meaning that everything you acquire in this life, you must be with sure. Be sure, guys. Be certain. Be certain. Before you just take it, yo. Take it. You can have it, yo. Take it. You can touch it, yo. Because you think you David or otherwise was a chatu satan. Ignore the salt in the background. I eat a lot of salt in my food. Maybe that's why I'm not losing weight fast enough. I don't know. Sister. Sister got issues. I got acne. As everything is sore. Mara, like salt or not in my food. Bottom line is I'm chilling. <laughs> Something you guys just aren't doing and I don't get it. Like, I don't understand it guys. skulls like trap the step on some people's heads while you be at it, y'all like properly destroying your own lives and others rushing to get everything in life quick quick what's the rush and precisely because you're in a violent rush you mess up let me tell you a little shy sham about africans okay it's a statistic i read about the other day or listened to on some youtube channel and you know there's people pulling out statistics out of orifices orifices in their bodies there are really stats but that that for me sounded like a real statistic because i could relate i'm an african right apparently there's like a whole um what is this disparity between gen z's right now gen z's in in africa versus gen z's in westernized nations where it is that gen z's in africa apparently allegedly have got a grander sense of purpose and morality and responsibility so a grander sense of purpose morality and responsibility above their western counterparts because their western counterparts are like you know ding, 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 boom, 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 tom and jerry like in a rush to get everything these kids have been given opportunities to basically become millionaires real quickly you know who is this um youtube is busy like ransacking my life breaking my heart i'm like over it now so too is all other like social media right so america is like responsible largely for this and then twitter is a south african issue because not twitter what is this um tiktok but i'm not even trying to be like talk about tiktok it's a it's a site for sore eyes because how desperate can you be in a cult to call up china type thing so let's just talk about america america is actively pushing the agenda of of uh we, like western content or let me not say western but american because they're trying to keep themselves strong right and so they're busy creating little millionaires out of 18 year olds they're busy creating little millionaires out of 17 year olds 16 year olds 21 year olds yeah with like giant youtube channels uh type thing that are making them some pretty big coin they're moving out of their mama's houses like fr like frankly just in, not even fresh out of high school but in high school they're moving out of parents houses in high school emancipating themselves from parents and so there is like this infiltration of a violent immorality in the children of america 
because of the fact that they are not yet trained the grind you know like a violence of hard work before you can acquire much of what you have before you can become super responsible before you can understand big deep matters of the world you're already on your first million apparently the mind matures or gets to the fullness of its completeness concerning uh development at only 25 like you're basically finished growing in the mind at 25 years old i mean that's like a giant age i thought it though like it happened just before you finished high school but apparently it's 25 right so if you are not completely sort of kind of built in the mind um you i don't believe have any business happening upon a million dollars like any minute now over and above it uh there are things that kids snap out of they snap out of them when they get out of high school they snap out of them when they get out of university age type you know like 21 22 they snap out of them after like you know working their first job in corporate there are things that people snap out of after a certain time in their life has gone they're called phases you know what i mean right uh so like disrespect of the world and elderly people and uh, voices of reason and stuff like that at some point we snap out of it you know how when you were a kid you never thought you'd be boring the way that your parents are boring but now you're boring because you snapped out of that mindset where you think all old people are just killjoys because now you're the killjoy yeah we get to places in our lives where we snap out of stuff so if you have not snapped out of certain mindsets because you're still a child heck what are you doing with like two million dollars you know what i'm saying like <laughs> you're a menace you're a menace the bible also says that when a person goes from being a peasant to a king overnight just like that the, the earth cannot bear up under them essentially they become a menace to society so uh, in, a person that is to acquire wealth must be trained how to deal with it otherwise they're gonna be just a monster that's what's good yeah uh children that come from homes where they were reliant on mom and dad for every little thing and who used to get grounded for doing strange stuff and whatnot when now they've got like a million dollars in their bank account because they've got a youtube channel <laughs> where they even lied about their age <laughs> And then their parents try to discipline them and then this kid is like whatever mom and they literally move out and go live by themselves what's going on and this is apparently an epidemic or a danger vibrant zone uh, in America where kids especially of the social media era are making money before they have matriculated before they have gotten their like grade 12 their high school certificate and they're also making lots and lots of money before they can think big think straight think right before they've got a moral comp a compass fully developed and before they've got a mental capacity fully developed and this is causing them to ruin their lives under the age of 25 so that by the time they get to 30 so that by the time they get to 27 they've got lots of regret because remember everybody snaps out of stuff every like we have phases that we snap out of we become the boring parents when once we never imagined we'd ever be boring that's what's good well in africa it has been uh, uh tabulated statistically that our kids are uh, are still kind of like the way that it's always been with kids uh, in the sense that they're not quite running rampant these streets making their first million rands at the age of 17 or 16 even with like you know youtube channels there's not enough of us that are busy flying around as like wealthy 17 year olds and so we're still kind of grinding and struggling working first jobs in call centers while we live at our mama's houses all the way up until the age of 23 and even when you get your first apartment you've got like a bean bag in a corner a crate of our like a kritia yabu yabu joala is what your television is chilling on that's your tv stand uh there's like two or three forks in the kitchen drawer uh to eat with and the refrigerator is always empty and you're always eating at your parents house pretending you're visiting uh when you just first move in they only have any furniture but you just want to have your own apartment that's what's good mm that is still happening even among university graduate kids in other words they went to school so they're earning a little bit more than their school leaving counterparts but they are still like i said 22 23 that's the first time they move out of their parents houses and that's still happening in africa apparently it's still a thing like it was that way with me when i was growing up and it's still a thing i did not know many i only have one girlfriend that moved out of home at 18. Uh, everybody else of us miss uh, like yeah like all of us were still staying at home all throughout the end of 
university and for the first few years of our jobs in corporate we were staying at home and that's allegedly apparently still a thing and what that did what that does in in us is to basically not be given an opportunity to throw our toys out the cot in the middle of a face just kind of ruin our lives then therefore because you see when a child throws their toys out the cot when they're in a phase because they have nowhere to go because you're living at home with your mama because they have no food to eat because your mama's feeding you because they have got no bed to sleep on because mama's providing for you you are going to and scream inside your head when you're literally out of your mind live it with your mother and then just get over yourself 24 hours hours progresses and tomorrow you're gonna be forced to greet your mom in the kitchen even though you don't want to talk to her because if you don't greet her you're gonna get a talking to as to who do you think you are this is my house you don't get to walk around without greeting me in our culture it is a rule that you must greet of which even though you got you some human rights you ain't gonna be telling on your mama because you know you had it coming that's what's good that's the african young person experience you have to snap out the age of your you have to snap out of your 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 fit of rage your fit of anger your fit of jealousy your fit of revenge whatever it is that you want to do you 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 make yourself snap out of it because most are comfortable at home in a way that they're not trying to throw all that away by running away in a way that they're not trying to throw that all away by putting themselves on the street in a gender-based violence country you ain't trying to throw that away that's what's good so you're gonna take your mama what you imagine to be boring attitude mm. in america allegedly apparently there's such a big problem that these kids are are like not getting angry and like you know screaming into a pillow but they're just leaving because <laughs> they've got money <laughs> yeah before they snap out of it before they snap out of it have you guys been to a house full of teenagers where the parents are gone for the weekend yeah no there's no order there's no law the house smells like cigarette smells like cigarette smoke or marijuana smoke it is dirty they, it smells like alcohol it literally smells like a nightclub when you walk in there at 1 30 in the morning yeah steamy unventilated windows for crying out loud are not open curtains are also not open but these teenagers these like 12 teens are literally just chilling in the house whose windows are closed i have a younger sister who if at all like my mom has got an early 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 meeting and so she leaves before the sun is out uh, therefore she did not have time to open curtains nor a window because it was not yet time i will wake up at i tend to wake up at around like 11 12 because i sleep at like 3 4 in the morning right and my little sister will be in the house and all the windows will still be closed all the curtains will still be closed it's like pitch of night like i told you like a nightclub that's how kids are that's how kids are that's what's good so if there are parents who leave a son at home trying to think that this guy is responsible and a 16 17 and they're like we're gonna be back in two days take care of your little eight-year-old sister that eight-year-old sister will literally suffer from carbon dioxide overload because that brother is going to struggle to understand that windows must be open curtains must be open the, the house must be ventilated you don't just leave dishes in the sink it could cause insects it could cause my pain like cockroaches etc at least keep yourself in a bunch kids take it for granted the cleanliness of a house because their parents make sure it's done even if it's done through them but when there is no voice of reason in the room like you will properly be like you will walk into a house where kids have been left alone for the weekend and it'll feel like a nightclub at 1 30 in the morning <laughs> no eggs no oxygen everything is hot everybody's body heat you're inhaling it everybody's carbon dioxide you're inhaling it you are literally and your diet's dark and nobody's like i'm because they all like walking into a club according to them nobody's even trying to tell somebody to open a window now nobody sees anything wrong with the fact that there's no sun piercing into any crevice of this house no one is raising it yeah but like you snap out of it don't you at some point when you get to like 21 22 23 20 my sister's 22 so i don't know what's going on over there but when you get to a certain age now you wake up in the morning and the first thing you do is open a window the first thing you do is open some curtains because it just dawns on you that that's what's normal that's what's right okay you essentially you snap out of waking up inside a club and not seeing anything wrong with this picture at some point so what then happens when there is a child living in a house 24 7 
24 7 a kid that owns a house like like 24 7 that has not snapped out of that face mama ain't coming back to open windows yell at you for not washing dishes air raid the house sweep it once and for all since you didn't do it there's not going to be somebody to correct the status quo and then punish you for not doing what you need to do by taking your cell phone for a week so when we're dealing with a a, a 19 year old or an 18 or 17 year old that owns a house that's like a, a crack house like 24 hours a day it's just dark it's dingy it's nasty like that yeah people in the occult be like i'm just saying you're like people that will snap out of stuff at some point it's inevitable but you don't know it yet but you are just making that money you're coining it and you don't think that the day's going to arrive when you're gonna miss a clean ecosystem in a rush you just go and cast spells and destroy families in a rush and you don't anticipate that one day you're gonna turn 23 and want a room that has got oxygen <laughs> so this statistic in the u.s of a is essentially like basically a right back at you backhanded slap to america that thank you very much for thwarting the growth of africans because you've kept our kids more or less somewhat our gen z's still sort of kind of sober because they are by far presently the most sober generation at present given that their parents have gone to the dogs and drunk chibuku given that millennials have gone to the dogs and drunk chibuku it appears south africa is in the hands of gen z's and i think they're somewhat responsible unfortunately however labo gen z they inevitably gonna follow the footsteps of their mamas and dadas if god does not intervene and just stop this nonsense dead in its tracks so a whole nation is in the hands of some kids right uh, because other people have become kids overnight yeah that's what's good mm -hmm. now in a household where like i said a 17 year old kid what's going on with you in a household where a seven what's happening man a 17 year old child is uh, owning a, a house because they've made like a whole bunch of money they won't snap out of the thing that they're now even my light adjustment is not working and it's just so challenging to me anyway what was i gonna say just as long as my audio is audible yeah the the kids for instance that are excited that their parents have left for the weekend and then they fill up the house with other teenagers that don't know how to clean and don't care that there's no oxygen in the room if their parents were to disappear for a month instead of just the weekend it would start to dawn on them that i this is not nice this is not nice there's something about dang because i can't have a party every day i cannot jump up and down every day i cannot smoke weed every day i cannot i i i, I want a cooked meal i miss the fact that when my mom is here there's a presence there's somebody that's always making sure that there's food around and even when i don't wash the dishes that i was supposed to wash i will wake up in the morning and the dishes will be gone and i won't know who will have washed them it's likely my mom or my sister but somebody did them even though it was my turn that's what's good yeah you might enjoy for two nights or maybe even three nights perhaps a week when your parents are gone to you know swing like a little monkey on a chandelier yeah indeed you might enjoy it briefly but after time progresses then you start to want responsibility again bigness that that siritisam me you start to want it come on don't give me grief you know this phone like i really pray that the lord helps me out in this regard because like it's really giving me problems but let's just move on you start to want that cooking mom you start to want her back even though she's full of rules even though she's full of rules you know what i mean yeah you want her back so a month is too long but a week is just enough time and unfortunately for uh people in the occult a life is a lifetime a life is a lifetime guys it's not just your 20s for crying out loud it is not just your 30s it's your 40s your 50s your 60s your 70s and if you're really blessed your 80s and 90s and maybe to the hundred like proper like a life is a lifetime just as it's ideal if you are a kid living in a house at the age of 16 for your mom to leave for a week for your parents to leave for a week but you don't want them gone for a month or even for the whole year or for three months because then you're gonna miss parental authority you're gonna find your little sister's needs exhausting do you understand go and ask child-headed households how they feel about permanently having to be grown-ups when they're just children yeah it's rough you want these grown-ups around and when they're not there 
you hope that it's just for like you know just a week tops but goodness don't leave for longer than that because who's gonna cook my meals who's going to make sure when i come back from school all the windows are open now imagine the scenario with the teenager that has been left with the house for the week since he's the oldest one he's 17 and he's got like a seven year old sister and a 11 year and an 11 year old brother imagine this 11 year old brother and the seven year old sister coming back from school on wednesday and the house is pitch black like they're used to walking into a house that's clean and smells like cooking or just kikohai all the windows are open all the curtains are open but for a whole week they're coming home because 17 year old brother's the only one taking care of the show and everything is dingy they start to miss their mom like super hard because this person is making my existence here really hard it's not nice when Tepo is taking care of us because Tepo can't even open windows for crying out loud something is missing Tepo himself will come back from school upon not opening the curtains in the morning before he leaves and realize that oh snap like whoa I didn't open the curtains and the house will be stuffy the dishes in the sink there'll be flies flying around there and he will realize that it's not nice to leave dishes even though nobody's gonna be surveilling you forcing you to wash those dishes that's what's good at some point you start to miss elderly people you start to miss a more responsible life people in the occult you're like american children at present apparently allegedly there is an epidemic of immorality in america among the gen z generation why because of the fact that a lot of them are making money young and so they are competing young they're becoming savages young they're giving their fellow like their peers a lot of attitude because they're making money you know how think about corporate like back when we were on the come up the girl that you went to school with that you were tight with in school all of a sudden you're passing her shade because you got the promotion you got the job you got the internship and she's still struggling her knees are ashy in the gassy and she doesn't even know whether she's coming or going she's busy sending out her cvs and nobody's calling her and now you're even embarrassed to invite her to the club mm. but in high school you were so fast last night well that kind of stuff happens with even older people right and those of us say this is kulile and with the gen z's it's starting to happen as early as like 16 starting to happen as early as like 14 15 it is starting like they are making so much money so young because of youtube because of social media that's what's good that they're passing their fellow 11 year old friend on the school playground shade they're passing their 15 year old fellow friend on the school play they literally all the moral turpitude that slaps the human race a little bit later on is coming to the kids earlier and they have not been trained how to make money they like peasants that became kings overnight they make money overnight and so for those reasons given also that they have not been trained they are ransacking themselves their feud until such time that their futures are found wanting they are emancipating themselves from parents legally emancipating themselves from parents who cannot like speak any voice of reason into their heads at all and so american culture is falling apart at the seams because the youth is not well trained by the time it gets to a certain point they have so devastated themselves they have so hurt themselves broken a crater in their the center of their country by allowing this opulence among the youth so young that they they, they they basically the regret is kind of you know it's coming around they're picking it up because now grown-ups can't tell kids anything they can't tell any kids anything only look at all of the like the the the, the lootings that are happening in america look at the remember the, the those black teenagers that were busy ransacking some street and looting stores at night and the police could not even do anything about it the police couldn't apprehend them they because they were busy beating police up they were like basically the cops were scared to intervene in that ecosystem those are the kinds of things that are happening in happening in america because of stuff like that we've got how they've got houses where children like home mansions where teenagers live in the mansions like in a mansion like teenagers like four or five teenagers are sharing a mansion that's not a home it's a you know like in the in the music videos it's a it's a it's a it's a party house it's a party house it's not a home there are mansions that are homes because there are parents there are maids that are cleaning there are kids that are going to school in the morning coming back being picked up by butlers and then there is a party house where all different kinds of activity is going on in a very elaborate home that should belong to a family but it's not a family it belongs to five teenagers from different mother's wombs 
That's happening in America in increasing measure because of social media. All they do all day is record videos for social media and show their lovely lives. They sleep with a whole bunch of girls and they, they just like have sex and different like, all over the show. And they drink it up a storm. They feel like they don't need to go to school. They like pop out. This is what in the world is going and it's tearing apart their, their, their sense of responsibility, their sense of purpose and their sense of morality. But apparently, allegedly in Africa, we're still in a bunch that our kids only stop making some decent money as in home buying money and family starting money in their late 20s headed for their 30s sometimes even their 30s only and by then their mental capacity is fully developed and they have snapped out a lot of out of a lot of things that kids are ultimately snap out of they snap out of irresponsibilities backbiting they start to see where their parents were coming from back when they were kids they start to also appreciate why their parents withheld from them that one time when they had to go to the wanted to go to the club sneaking out they appreciate all the things that they used to hate when they were kids because remember everybody at some point snaps out of being a fool that is the amazing thing yeah everybody including american teenagers that are wealthy today acting a fool just like african kids that are good that eventually snap out of nonsense they too will snap out of nonsense but by the time they snap out of nonsense they've destroyed so much They've got so much regret. Money is like dust in their mouth. They wish they could turn back the hands of time. They've hurt their parents. They're estranged from parents that actually used to love them. They have got uh, uh, rest restrained relations with friends that they were tight with as kids. Like they were, they grew up like, you know, next to each other, the next door neighbor's kid and your kid growing up next to each other as best friends. And you pass your friend shade because you've got like a, a YouTube channel with 500,000 subscribers. And then when you are 30, bump into that same friend in the mall and she doesn't even want to look at you. And you know why, you know you are a jerk. You know you are a jerk and the guilt has caught up with you. The invisible qualities of God are in every human being. We are all made in the image of God. So we are affected by two things. The invisible, we, we're affected by the invisible qualities of God all over creation, as it is written in Romans 1 and our consciences and these two things work whether or not you have made a million rare a million dollars by the age of 12 they they will always slap you silly but they also develop in loftier measure as you get older that is why there is an age of accountability that is why babies uh, you know if they mistakenly kill a person because of some like thing that they do like throwing a stone at, at a person out of like a fit of rage as a baby that baby cannot be held accountable because of the fact that their their mental capacity is not yet fully developed and the kid does not know what they're doing so they're essentially like mentally insane people that cannot be held accountable for the crimes that they committed if they do them. But we, we train kids as life progresses so that they know not to throw a stone because it might result in the death of a person. And as they start to understand these principles, then they start to become accountable for what they do. Uh, so all that stuff happens in all of us. So at what age a person reaches a place of recognizing what their conscience is telling them and they invisible qualities of God all over creation determines when they start to therefore be responsible for what they're doing and also it determines uh, their reaction to their conscience are they gonna sear their own consciences and act a fool because of the acquisition of money or are they going to recognize that you don't let money make you a jerk but these people are kids and remember their mental capacity is not yet fully developed when they make money they become a jerk and because they get praised by everybody else who's congratulating them for being mean to their best friend uh, while they're still 15 16 they might just brush it off as nothing but then it'll come on them like a flood when they're 21 when they're 30 it'll come on them like a flood when they bump into that same girl at 28 in the mall and she can't even look at her in the eye anymore because goodness there's my friend my former friend the millionaire she probably thinks i stank and she is still working a regular nine to five job right she is still has not broken through into great wealth or anything like that she's working as a normal employee of some corporate in the country so she's never gotten to the level of wealth of her friend and yet she still and because of that she imagines that her friend still thinks of her like she ain't jack but when that friend of yours from school now looks at you on some goodness i don't want to have to deal with the heartbreak of being looked at like i'm a second class citizen the person that is receiving that kind of response then has changed their mind they've snapped out of i've made money so you don't matter you stank now they're guilty their conscience finally they cannot just ignore it and so because they can't ignore their conscience now they feel trapped in a body 
of a person that has ruined so much and frankly there is no recovery back to where it is that they want to go they cannot make their friend realize that they've snapped out of that thing because a friend is always going to feel patronized by them so they've lost their best friend they have changed their minds about how it is that you treat people even when you have money but the people that they've hurt want nothing to do with them they don't want to hear they just don't want to have to deal with the pain it's a coping mechanism for them to avoid the object of their sorrow at the object of their sorrow or rather at this point it would be a subject of their sorrow the subject of their sorrow is now thoroughly guilty like properly guilty and they wish they hadn't have done that but uh, the person has already got a god up that is a coping mechanism they've already got a god up and the coping mechanism is avoid 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 so when they see you approaching in the mall they turn the opposite direction and that then becomes everyone that you've ever hurt and some of these people are so important to you they're so important but they don't want to see you in the mall they avoid you actively especially if they have not yet arrived at a place in their lives where they are above you beyond you where even you are the one that made the first million but now she's a millionaire too no she hasn't gone to being a millionaire she's just a regular middle class lady that's working a regular job in corporate so even the fact that she still has not gone to where it is that you got really quickly as a kid is more of a motivation for her to run away and protect her heart from what might be your reaction in the mall when she and a ways to herself that you've changed your mind and a ways to herself that you, you you don't want to be like that anymore but by then you've already lost some people that's what's currently happening amidst american kids that's also why there's such a high suicide rate among gen z's in that space that is the reason why um the, the like all the satisfaction that comes the temporary relief the temporary success that comes from uh, having a very thriving tiktok account or t thriving youtube channel is not enough to just keep them going 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 it, like the people online are not enough to keep them going they now need substance in their lives so the epidemic of i guess let's call it what immorality among the gen z's in the u.s is similar to the epidemic of witchcraft in south africa uh or maybe let me just say across the world but right now i'm speaking to my country it is similar to the epidemic of witchcraft in this country it keep witches these people that are in a rush brrr, to just get everything they want real quick like a kid becoming a millionaire at 15 and then because they have not yet developed their fullness concerning their cognitive capacity and they have not yet developed a sense of purpose and they have not yet uh, etched themselves in a finality of decision concerning what they're going to do in the future they then make some pretty haphazard hasty decisions they are uh, upset with the authority above them that is parental uh, because it's it's stifling to them and they remove it by hurting their parents and then later on they regret it later on they regret it the bible says that uh, in the heart of a child is a lot of folly it's a great deal of but the rod of discipline drives it away from this child mm. the bible also says teach a child in the way that they should go and when they're older they will not depart from it right so in the heart of a child dwells great folly but the rod of discipline drives it far away and teach a child in the way that they should go and when they're older they will not depart from it the operative term is older because kids tend to remember the rules and the advice of their parents when they're older because when they're younger they go out of their way to defy these rules if at all they can get away with it if they they can be anonymous in their breaking of rules they will break them they imagine that rules are there to be broken okay that's what's good so they will be disrespectful and disobedient as kids when their parents say do this do that but when they're older they recognize the wisdom of the parents and so they instill that in their own they teach the same rules that they broke to their own children the rod of discipline drove it far from them so if you if you snap out of disobeying your parents when you are already out of your parents house for crying out loud how can you trust emancipating yourself from parents when you are still a child it's absolutely unsustainable it is absolutely unsustainable so a child that makes money is a dangerous dangerous thing and america has got a whole load of them it's got a whole load of them and it's got an epidemic on its hands and these kids are gonna grow up very bitter adults that have lost everything but america you know what you had it coming you know why because it's one of your judgments literally cancel culturing the living daylights out of everybody and making sure that only american content creators get the upper hand when it comes to growing on youtube such that so many of your kids are wealthy now that it's become a, a, a feelable like it has it is what, what what wealth among the youth in america has done has achieved is something that is now economically and morally felt it is felt because it is a big enough number of them that are making money but you have withheld this wealth from 
African youths and so they're struggling with their lackluster 500 subscriber channels on YouTube and so they're having to just finish university they're having to get their first job still living at their parents houses they're having to therefore obey their parents until they get to the age of 23 they're having to protect their sanctity and their safety because they know that disrespecting their parents is going to risk their sanctity and their safety until they get to 23 move into their own apartment and by the time they move into their own apartments at 23 they're not as dumb as they were at 16 first and foremost and the mistakes that they make in their first apartments at 23 uh, they, they are quick to eradicate them because they're already about to snap out of random rubbish coupled with the fact that because they have had to work for their apartments they've had to raise the deposit money they've had to raise the money to buy the three teaspoons the television that is chilling on a crate of beer they've had to raise the money to buy the bean bag they're having to take out loans and accounts in order to you know afford a new couch get a better bed and all that jazz given that they've actually worked for those curtains they're not gonna want anybody just putting cigarette burns in those curtains they're not gonna want anybody using their bean bag as an ashtray they're not gonna want a whole bunch of their friends just stepping on their couch dancing up and down because they have understanding of their own hard-earned blood sweat and tears money that they spent to buy that couch it's not like the parents couch that they never contributed a cent to bringing in the house it's their own couch and so now they're gonna tell their friends can you use a coaster on my coffee table can you take off your shoes on this carpet because I don't want your your your, your tread marks on my floor can you you know you get my point uh, uh, when they are busy handling crockery and cutlery they're gonna be like please can you be a little bit more careful with that because you know the way that obey link classic thing on the table it could break yeah now they're careful so they start to become like their parents meaning that it's a lot better for them to now live by themselves than it ever could have been at 18 ever could have been at 16 ever could have been at 15 that's what's good yeah well american kids are literally getting out of their parents houses at 12 at 15 and straight into their own apartments with no regard for such things as those no regard for what do you call this thing the couch that they had to buy with their own blood sweat and tears because when you are busy getting paid a whole bunch of money just because people are watching your jokes on youtube that is not hard earned money do you understand what i'm saying it's not and so when somebody puts a cigarette burn in your couch you just think you can get a new one a wealthy kid is a dangerous thing unless they grew up in, in money in old money unless it was an inheritance and so it's just what they know but one that becomes wealthy where yesterday they were just living in a regular three-bedroom house with their parents it's dangerous it's dangerous and people in the occult happen upon this quick fix quick money thing that they do and they become like a 15 year old that happens upon a million bucks real quickly and moves into an apartment emancipates themselves from their parents because they can't stand the authority of the parents and does not even care when somebody uh, uh, burns a cigarette hole in their curtain because they can get new curtains tomorrow until they get to the age of 28 and it's not fun anymore even though you can keep on changing up the couches because now you have no meaning no substance and no purpose no meaning no substance african youth african youth apparently allegedly slay american youth in that regard and that because of how long it takes for us to make any kind of normal looking money and how long it takes for us to move out of our parents houses we're a lot more responsible than american kids and we have a lot more purpose and we also have got a lot more substance in our lives and we also manage to maintain a lot more relationships well into our 20s and 30s that we started out with when we were kids because everybody was poor up to a certain point everybody was still struggling up to a certain point and so they stayed together and what the millennials have done in Africa when they got their first money is ruin all that you literally destroyed all that you started to make money and then upon moving into your first apartment you competed so violently with all of your peers that you knocked them out of the way you knock them out of the woods and in knocking them out of the way now at what I'm, I'm 39 now you don't have anything you used to have anymore but you're sitting with a whole bunch of guilt look at you go and yet everybody that you betrayed wants nothing to do with you you don't think 